Traditional regression analysis is parametric in nature. This forces users to confine relationships between the dependent variable and independent variables to particular forms such as linear, polynomial, and so on. For instance, ordinarily squares regression suggests relationships between variables are on average linear. While this is obviously very appealing and intuitive, if the true but unknown relationship is in fact nonlinear, our linearity assumption will result in unreliable inference. On the other hand, non-parametric modeling is agnostic as to the nature of the relationship between variables. It simply assumes that such a relationship exists as some function which could be linear or nonlinear. However, often this comes at the cost of vagueness and misinterpretation. The middle ground between these two extremes is the idea of functional coefficient models. Here the relationship between variables is linear in variables, but nonlinear in parameters. In other words, the parameters associated with the independent variables are no longer constant as in OLS analysis, but are in fact functions of a third variable. Functional coefficient models are therefore natural extensions to classical parametric and non-parametric techniques, in addition to providing very appealing interpretations. We will demonstrate how to estimate functional coefficient regressions using a model to describe the evolution of unemployment rate using real wages. We have a quarterly work file with ranges from 1980 to 2018, and we have two series. The seasonally adjusted unemployment rate in the US, and the log of the seasonally adjusted real wage. To estimate the functional coefficient regression, we click on Quick, Estimate Equation, and from the method drop-down we select Func Coef. We'll estimate an autoregressive model for the unemployment rate, claiming that the relationship between the unemployment rate in the current quarter is a function of the unemployment rate in the previous two quarters. We'll also claim that the coefficients which weight the impact of the unemployment rate in the previous two quarters on the current quarter are functions of the log of real wages four quarters ago, or one year ago. We do this because it's widely accepted that wages are sticky, and we limit the wage friction to one year. We'll leave the main estimation degree at one, implying that we are in fact estimating a linear functional coefficient regression, but we'll leave the auxiliary estimation degree untouched. One of the most crucial aspects of functional coefficient estimation is the choice of bandwidth. In eViews, we provide several automatic methods for computing the bandwidth. To adjust these settings, we click on the Options tab. Here we will use the residual squares criterion for the pilot stage of the bandwidth computation, and we'll set some of the remaining options. Clicking OK produces the results. We see that the coefficient associated with weighting the impact of unemployment rate in the previous quarter is in fact decreasing as wages from a year ago increase, whereas the impact of unemployment from two quarters ago on the current level is increasing as wages from a year ago increase. We can also see a distributional summary of how the functional coefficients evolve, displayed on the y-axis. We can test whether the coefficients are in fact constant across values of log wage, rather than depending on log wage, by using the view, stability and significance tests, and then testing whether the coefficients are constant, which is the default. Since the test statistic exceeds the critical value, we can see that we will reject constancy for both parameters 